Welcome back. New developments in last week's Michigan school shooting. The person who owns the warehouse where gunman Ethan Crumbly's parents were found was questioned by police. Jennifer and James Crumbly were found early Saturday morning hiding at that warehouse in Detroit. There's also word of potential charges being brought against school administrators for their lack of action before the shooting. And what is the responsibility of schools in a situation like this? Are they legally liable for the actions of students and parents? Fox 5's Katie Barlow, who is also a lawyer, getting answers for tonight. She's standing by tonight with what we found on this. And these are these are questions, Katie, that you don't think of. But now, with with all of the extenuating circumstances in this case, they are they, they need answers. Given what we know now about what Oxford High School knew about the student who shot and killed four of his classmates and injured others, and when the school knew it, some people are asking whether schools should be held liable to victims and their families in the wake of tragedies like what happened in Michigan, or perhaps whether they could be charged criminally for failing to take care of the students in their care. And the answer is likely no. Schools are virtually immune from liability, uh, from civil liability. Uh, and in Michigan, as in the majority of states, there's actually a statute that protects them from being held liable in a tort action by the parents or the victims. If we're talking about anything, it certainly would be no more than negligence. And in layman's terms, as opposed to technical legal terms, do I think the school officials were negligent? Absolutely. Well, Fox 5 contacted several of our local school districts who were all hesitant, reasonably so, to comment on matters of student safety and security practices. One local school official in Montgomery County said there's no general rule of response when it comes to specific students, specific measures are used. And this year, he said in schools, students' behavior, especially online, has become more threatening than in previous years, certainly before the pandemic. And that's why he said they invest investigate thoroughly, involve the police when necessary, and work very hard to ensure student safety. Now, Professor Catherine Ross, who you just heard from there, emphasized that although she didn't think the school in Michigan did enough, that schools should be careful not to overreact. It's a common mistake, she said, that can sometimes cause more damage to the individual student and their future. It's, of course, a tough line for educators to walk. Back to you guys. Without question, because history repeats itself. Uh, Parkland in so many people's memories not that long ago. You go back all the way to Columbine. I mean, the cases, they go on and on. Uh, Katie, you talk about the Fourth Amendment, the right to search, which also a student has that right on school grounds, but so do schools. Protection against them being held liable. What do we know here in terms of, of legality? Can they be held accountable? Well, schools are responsible for the safety and security of students when they're in their care. They are charged with the duty to take care and to be reasonably responsible. Now, that's not the same duty as parents, particularly in this case, as the parents have been charged, at least, with knowing that their child at least owned a weapon or was given a weapon by them. And so there was some conversation from the prosecutor uh, in, in that region in Michigan asking, um, you know, who, what did the parents know and perhaps should they have searched his backpack when they went to the school to visit with teachers. But we'll learn more in the coming days as the case unfolds. You know, the charges against those parents without question unprecedented, but probable cause nonetheless. We'll see more from there. Thank you, Katie.